Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here with a cybersecurity news article from Tech Radar. In three, two, one. This article is written by Joel Kalili and it's published eight hours ago. This new malware doesn't even need a connection to infect devices. Ramsey malware is capable of jumping the air gap. I'll explain it. Researchers have discovered a new and advanced form of malware capable of bypassing even the most strict security measures. Identified by cybersecurity firm ESET, the newly discovered Ramsey malware appears to have been designed expressively, expressive, or expressly to infiltrate air gap devices and networks which are considered near impossible to breach. Having infected a machine, the malware reportedly scrapes Word, PDF, and ZIP files along with other sensitive information before lying in wait for an opportunity to transport data out of the closed system. Basically, it just means that there is a type of malware called the Ramsey malware that is capable of leaking data from a closed system that is behind an air gap to another to, to spread infection. Back to the article. Air gap networks. The practice of air gapping allows businesses to isolate networks or individual computers from the wider corporate network and also the public internet. This most stringent of security measures is used primarily by large enterprises and government entities to safeguard highly sensitive documents, intelligence, and intellectual property. ESET claims to have identified three versions of the Ramsey malware, one built in September and further to in March, suggesting the operators are delivering frequent iterative improvements. One version contains a spreader module, which is said to be highly aggressive, capable of infecting portable executables known as PE, which is portable executables for short, found on removable storage devices such as USB sticks. Researchers have believed this is the mechanism by which the malware is transported onto isolated devices and networks. It is not yet clear how Ramsey is able to extract data from air gap environments with which the malware operators have no way of communicating remotely. ESIT researcher Ignacio Samillion has suggested a hacker might compromise an internet-connected device used to transfer files to air gap systems, which then can be used to perform exfiltration or else might have physical access to the infected network. Although the malware has not been formally attri- attributed to a cyber criminal group, Samillion believes Ramsey shares common qualities with Retro, a malware strain developed and operated by South Korean syndicate Dark Hotel. So basically, that article is talking about how one particular malware is able to infiltrate an air-gapped computer that is sitting isolated off of the network or internet or the public internet, meaning that the computer is sitting offline on its own. And this malware can jump that air gap through a USB stick plugged into the machine that has the malware that obviously creates a portable executable file on the flash drive and then it automatically launches on the air gap computer able to to grab sensitive documents and information out of the air gap computer and then when it's transported back to a computer with an internet connection it automatically will start leaking that data out over the internet but the air gap computer has no internet connection to it meaning that cyber attackers cannot simply gain remote access to that air-gapped computer because it is offline air-gap isolated. That particular type of Ramsey malware only impacts governments, enterprises, and big businesses only that deal with sensor information. This won't necessarily impact home users at all due to because home users only have one computer. Some will have one computer connected to the internet and... Obviously, home users won't have any other computer that is air-gapped in their home at all, meaning that, for example, I have a desktop computer that's connected to the internet, but I don't have any other computer in the house in my own home that is air-gapped. 
So this wouldn't apply to me at all. This will only apply to, biz- to big businesses and government entities and things like that. But home users seem to be not affected by this because I read the article in Tech Radar and it that's what it turns out to be. But this unfortunately mentions a South Korean syndicate dark hotel. I'm going to have to research what South Korean syndicate dark hotel is to learn more about that. And when I learn more, I'll report back in a video. But anyway, thank you for listening. And William Armstrong signing out. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye bye.